We have a lot going on today. Welcome to the madness at Celine. But I want to make sure that they are well presented. So basically, Noor wants to do this lunch event with all of us, which I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but I guess it's happening. Let's hope for that. Exciting, honestly, it's summertime, so I feel like it's a nice time to have a little bit of chill time. We have lots of work right now in the office. We have a lot of projects going on, and then me and Anna can't cope with everything, I guess. <laughs> like, because everyone's on holiday right now, and it's quite challenging for us to keep up with everything. So I have known Fameed for a really long time, and I'm super excited about going in there and taking my team in there to talk to him about all of the amazing specialist finishes he has. I particularly like going to suppliers that I've known for a very long time. There is a reason I've been going to them for a long time. A, they become kind of like family, and B, you know, they have clearly provided an incredible service across those years, otherwise we wouldn't still be going back. So to be able to share that experience with the rest of my team is super fun, and I'm just glad to be there. And I'm glad that he's hosting us and looking so awesome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I have a surprise for you. This is Sasha. Sasha is here to improve your makeup life. No, I'm joking. <laughs> She's here to do everybody's makeup. It's going to be a quick 10, 15 minutes. Are we all feeling okay about that? I thought I did a pretty good job this morning. <laughs> you did do a great job this morning. Sasha is also from Ukraine and only arrived three months ago. Uh, it was very surprising. We were not expecting that at all, like during such a busy morning. Everyone in the office knows that I love makeup, so it was very fun to have someone kind of like doing a boost before uh, an important meeting with Fameed. So I think everyone turned out very beautiful. So thanks. I feel that my team works very, very hard and I love having my makeup done when we're filming, but I think it's really quite nice that if I'm going to film my team um, to you know, be able to surprise them and say, let's do a makeup session for everyone. At this point in my team's life, the full-time members are all female, so um, I've been able to offer uh, makeup to everybody that wants it. I think they were happy about it. Harry complained that I didn't tell her before, but I mean, there's no way of telling people, don't wear makeup to work tomorrow. And by the way, we're also filming. So I mean, I had to keep it a secret. So I'm sorry guys that you did your makeup and came to work, but what else could I do? And I've agreed the salary, right? Yeah. So they can speak to me because the other guy that but I spoke to yesterday- Like they're not going down. So she said- but That's fine because the other guy I spoke to yesterday, he was really good, but he had definitely a more architectural background. So these guys might have a more design slash architectural background and then let's see mm -hmm. whose personality works better. They're all at the same level, give or take a few thousand pounds. Yeah. So let's do that. I'm going to call Lola because she's not here and we have this important event happening and Nora did this surprise to us. I'm just going to check on her because I'm not sure if she's arriving on time. Hi Lola. Where are you? Basically, Nora prepared this surprise to us in the office. She just hired a makeup artist and she wanted to surprise us. And she's quite upset because you're not here. And to be honest with you, she, she didn't know that you had this meeting. Yeah, it's, it's quite a shame that you're not here. I really want to make sure that you're here on time. Let me know then, okay. And I had the pressure of Noor of like making sure that everyone was at the breakfast, but at the same time, Lola was calling me saying, I have this meeting, I have to leave. So I was having like pressure from both sides. Noor uh, ended up like being very upset with me, uh, Lola at the same time. So I got like pressure from both sides and I, um, she ended up being a bit late, but yeah, at least she, she, she came to the event. I was on site at the time, so I couldn't be at that certain meeting. I was meeting with our joiner and the contractor, and I was doing my job, and it was a very important meeting for a very important client. I didn't feel bad because I was doing my job, and I was where I was supposed to be. 
the key thing to remember here when you visit, it's not necessarily about each individual sample. What we're showing you is technique. Yeah. So it's the technique behind each sample because yeah. what we're showing you is what's possible. A few months ago we finished an installing in Grover Square and we used a wallpaper. Anyway, it was too thick and it didn't cut well. I think that wallpaper was the first time it had been released. So it's a wallpaper that basically had never been used before. And we actually called like all the best installers saying, can, can you help here? So my question is, if we swapped it to something like this, it would go into panelling, but the corridor's not that wide. What would you suggest to protect it? And do you think there's a risk of it damaging if it's in an entryway? You can use it in the corridor. Even a, a child, all the child's going to do is that. It's not going to do more than that. And yeah. Is it easy see, to clean? Yes, you wipe it clean. Is it's, that a ceramic or is that a plaster? It's fibrous plaster. So oh, this, wow. this okay. is exactly oh. what you would see on a Georgian ceiling. Um, okay. You know, in a typical traditional yeah, home. Yeah. Um, yes, you can just wipe it clean. Uh, I mean, this sample is quite old. It's been out everywhere. It doesn't look old. Um, it's very old, actually. The sample's like years old. Five, six. Yeah, and it you can see it's not even that dirty and it goes out it everywhere. It looks beautiful. And it gets like quite yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, right, it's a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, so this is actually made from jasmine um, which is much lighter. What we could do is do oh, that yeah. design, but on something like this. Yeah. This particular panel, so we... We've done a laser cutting. Um, in fact, the, the laser cut was done in India, which on is just leather further or on hair and hide. I think that yeah, it was I think leather. It wasn't, it was are you leather. sure it wasn't a hide? Because I think that actually the hide came from the UK and was sent to India to have done there. But in this case, I think we had a problem With bringing the cost it here. Of the transport, yeah. Because it was because so it was costly to bring it here that it ended up, I think, being the same. Same as the Some price of the same. actual panel. But you're going to pay freight based on the volume. Yeah. yeah. And if it's rolled up, it's much cheaper than something's flat. So if it's flat like this, it's going to take up a lot of space, yeah. so you can pay a lot. If we mm -hmm. are um, buying something like that from you, when we pay for me to Kalik, are we paying it all inclusive with the shipping? No, we, we separate that. Well, no, it depends on the product. If it's something very bespoke and custom that we're doing, then you, we would advise you the shipping cost, but we ship all the time. Um, so my question about the agate, we ordered the agate for our most recent project that we completed in Chelsea and we used it for the powdering um, which was great and then we also used a piece of it in the hall so there was an issue with that like fitting it because of the thickness of, of the stone and actually that niche where it was going into was very complicated because it was fat at the front and then at the back it went a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. And and you guys, you don't provide services of someone going on site to do measurements. Did we supply that idea? Yes. The way we work with our um, all our stones is that we don't supply saps unless you want us to supply mm -hmm. saps, but we don't mm -hmm. because it's not economical and it doesn't really make sense. So we will make the piece to whatever size you want, shape, size you want. So one, there's no wastage for you. I'm glad my girls are kind of now getting into the swing of asking questions and not feeling, you know, so intimidated by, I guess, the foam crew and, you know, everything that's going on there. And they're just feeling a little bit more relaxed. So I'm enjoying the way this meeting is going. I've got one thing to say about breakfast. No cuppa, no orange juice, and no coffee. I actually did wonder where the coffee was. I or... was parched. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was just a normal conversation. Uh, and he, the way he speaks about everything, it's so like clear and professional at the same time. So thanks to me yeah. for the opportunity, because obviously it's very helpful yeah. for us. So now we have like one hour to do this lighting design that we cannot show that much, but we can give you like a sneak peek of what we should do. Uh, guys, we have one hour to do the lighting design for, let's go. Okay, would you mind printing out uh, in A3, five to six, five to six uh, examples? Um, well, I didn't really want to show my design because um, we were a little bit rushed for time. Nor gave us approximately like 30 seconds to come up with something. Um, and I would have loved like, you know, 
two hours maybe to really get something. On my first year, it felt a bit challenging because you know there were so many things to do that day yesterday, and it was just like <laughs> oh my god. And then uh, we could hear you. We only have about 10 minutes mariana came down with all the drama she's like guys we only have 10 minutes and we just have to sketch a light a new light we don't have a lot of time to sketch today i did actually say a day ago that this needed to be done not that whole day is a huge amount of time but everyone's stressing out because they've got an hour and in actual fact they did have more than an hour they just didn't get it done You started working for us in April, so you are now officially yes. over your probation yes. period. And that means it's time for me to let you go. I'm just... ah! I know. She literally for a minute was like, you cow. I guess I wanted to make it official. So my feedback, I suppose, because it's important for you to have it. I think we started off very carefully and slowly. Yeah. And then I think you really ended up getting into the pace of things. And frankly, I think you, have not just fit in really well, but everybody loves you. I think you're fantastic. So who is your favorite person in the office? Of course. Of course, other than me. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> well, I'm, of course I'm close, I'm really close to Harriet. Yeah, you know, I didn't realize that until recently. <laughs> She's like, you know, I'm just telling you, I love Mahak. And I was like, I've noticed. Yeah. I love her too. No, because since day one, she's just been always like, She's there. a very nice she person. Just, she just wants to be there for everyone. Yeah. And She's a very nice person. I don't remember now how I how we met, even. Because it, was, it wasn't it through was, an agency, it was just very random. Just, I was looking for a job and I remember I, I really did like you because you were, uh, we were talking about top 50 designers. So anyway, yeah. so you were, I mean, I really did like your work. And then I started watching your YouTube videos and I'm like, oh. Oh no way! I did because oh. it was all about day in my life, and I literally before speaking to you, I saw all of them. Oh my goodness! I had no idea. I, also because I loved it because I I used to tell my husband that you know she's she's managing the children, she's managing a family, and she's running a business, yeah, and it takes yeah. a lot to do that. Cheers! Cheers! Uh -huh. Cheers! Cheers! To a long future at Celine. I was honestly I was excited and curious at the same time. I was just like, ooh, I, I mean, literally, I didn't know what was in store for us. You didn't so. think I was going to fire you? No. <laughs> I haven't ever been in the habit of kind of inaugurating someone into the company in that way. But I think actually I don't feel it because I'm not the one on, pro on the probation period. But I think when people come and start working with us, you know, when you are on that probation period, you do feel you know, not as settled as you would be after the first three months because, you know, you're still not sure, you know, is this, is this, you know, my permanent job or not? And I think it's quite nice to have this, you know, conversation and to actually to be able to you know, congratulate somebody and say, welcome to the team, but officially, um, and just to be acknowledged for, you know, the great work that you do. It, it did no. make my evening and my day, oh, to be fair. Oh, bless you. I wasn't really <laughs> expecting it. So that was that was a sweet drama. <laughs> yeah, sweet drama, I like that. We want more of those. Okay, so it's for our next collaboration meeting. How are you? I'm good, how are you? you? <laughs> After a year. Busy, busy, busy. It's gonna be Team Orange. <laughs> you can stay over there. I'm joking. This is Mac yes. and the rest of the team are on their way. What I've told the girls is, we're gonna do a mini competition. So everyone's gonna come and sit around the table. And I've not seen any of these designs, by the way, so it will be a first for me. But I've said to them, everyone come up with a sketch, including Mahak, and then we're gonna share the sketches and all together, all of us, can decide on which one we feel should develop that extra level of, you know. Yeah, go, um, go, go that extra mile. I love lighting and I am a massive fan of Bella Figura and all of their products. They have this kind of art deco edge to their designs and I absolutely love that. And I love seeing how Bella Figura's designs have developed and we are now about to collaborate on our own lighting collection with Bella Figura, which I'm very, very proud of. And so we took, you know, an initial inspiration, we developed that together and then I wanted to take that design and put it to my team and say, where would everyone else take this design direction? You know, how would they develop that even further? And so they weren't expecting this, but we turned it into a kind of competition. Wow, I see waves. Let's have a look. What I've actually thought of is 
because I thought of making the form more lucid. So using this, but if I don't know whether is this can we make it more lucid like glass? One piece is a glass, With the rest is flower and rest is metal. So this could probably be the wall light and then we could uh, take few pieces from here and then add them onto the chandelier. So that becomes like one kind yeah. of whole collection. So my inspiration was this. I quite like it, but maybe it's too organic and no, <laughs> not, not necessarily. It's a sconce. And then from a chandelier point of view, you just add more together. I like this. Yeah, I like that. And I'd love to see a branching chandelier that's more branch than more leaves because I see so much leaf. And we've we <laughs> tend to have steered clear or just haven't really gone down that well, it, road. Well, it's, it's interesting because we, so, we were looking at doing something vaguely similar to that in the past. Great okay. start. It's a great, it's a great start. I mean, I even like it as it is. But I think you're right, it has to work for also the rest of the shop and the rest of the elements. To come back to a slightly more masculine, but keeping that you know feminine feel, I guess. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's like really, really similar. But mine was like more like the loose like here and the brass here. Did you just copy this up? <laughs> well, mine's, mine's thicker. No, I did loose like. They're really similar. And I also really like this. Oh, that, that's quite similar, but no, it's a more straight. Like one of those yeah. Lines. It's almost the straighter version of it. I do really like it though. It exactly reminds me of an early yeah. draft of the Mondrian. We had the shade on the outside. And yeah, originally I did think of shade. Or it would be loose sight and loose sight. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably do frost. Because that could look somehow, when which it's would look completely and different. And then clear. Too much loose sight would also be hard to hide the wires out. and hide. I, I, hide I feel like a chandelier needs needs the metal work to give it sort of proportion and mm -hmm. sort of a little bit of rigidity, like a skeleton for the the more decorative elements to relate to. I actually really like these, by the way. I think they're very smart. <laughs> they're very bella yeah, figure. Yeah, so everyone here has got a line. Almost too similar. She though. followed the concept. We <laughs> just. These guys just went their own We're way. Very crazy. <laughs> no, but okay. Well, look, we've definitely got some great options. You can pick whichever one. So we've got one, two, three, four. and four. Okay. So close your eyes. No cheating. And I'm going to call out the numbers. Okay. One. Oh, I can't remember what number I like. So Hold on. Oh, check oh. which number you prefer. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, check which number you prefer, and then we're gonna vote. Okay, close your eyes. Number one. Number two. <laughs> okay, and number three. Number four. Okay, everyone's hands down. Open your eyes. Number two. Hey! Hey. Uh -huh. Don't you wish it was a competition now? It's okay, you get you can a free take trip to our Suffolk warehouse <laughs> to make it. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> that is super exciting. I want to come. Why didn't I get an invite? Lola! Good evening. I am so glad you made it to the meeting. But we did have a competition. And now, because you're here, and we don't want you to miss out, we're going to ask you to guess who the winner was. That one. And four. So, I do no, that wasn't an option. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one. Like really, that one. that one? I also really like that one. That one. Really? Fantastic. Thank you so much. We have a winner. That was fun. Yeah. I think that went really well. I think we respected um, and appreciated everybody's designs, but I think there was a clear winner. And, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that design and I'm proud um, that Mahek uh, was the one whose design was developed even further. And we're going to keep working on that design. So watch this space because it is going to be super fun. So I was not expecting at all uh, to have such a fun meeting with Bella Figure. I thought it was it was supposed to be very like formal and serious, but it, it turned out in such a fun uh, time with them. So we even did like a competition. I was a bit upset that I didn't win because I really, I was really proud of my drawing. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for Mahek. She's an incredible interior designer. So congrats Mahek. It was a great meeting, you know, usually it's, we're in the office and, you know, we went out and we all collaborated, worked together and we really became a team where we put all our designs and actually at the end we brought them all together and created something different. It was great. So Mahek clearly enjoyed that meeting because 
You were the winner. Well, I would like to call it a competition. <laughs> she didn't yes, want to call it a competition, but you but were very yes, happy to win. Yes, I, I really did appreciate, uh, you know, or that everybody really did like my design. Yeah. And I was, oh my God, this is a five second, <laughs> like a design that I created in five seconds. Just uh, Why do of, people keep saying five seconds? You had like 30 minutes, an hour even. Yeah, but it was an hour for everything else <laughs> with it. <laughs> I love the way this team has just come together. I mean, you can see that my company and the team um, that makes that company has such great energy and together, you know, we've been able to really just have this incredible inspirational feeling whenever we're together. It feels good. I think everyone is inspired by the energy of the team and I love that. I'm proud of you guys if you're watching and I'm so proud of this company. So I love being, I love being here and I love working with all of you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm very bad. Don't you look How are you? so handsome? Are you well? He's always so happy. I've, um, not, I've not really ever seen you in this job. Well, no, because I've got like a really yeah, attitude to and things changing. Right. So, um, fine. So, can, I, can you tell me what the questions are before you start filming so I know? No. What do you know? No. What if I can't answer it? Because you can't answer it. And you can see it's not even that dirty and it goes out. It looks beautiful. And it gets cut by people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Best presentation marks. You. <laughs> you <laughs> That, without, I mean, without a shadow of a that, doubt. That's kind of not even a question. It's not even a question, you do. <laughs> who forced her to ask that question? <laughs> I asked her who made them, she wouldn't tell me. I need like 10 minutes to do this. She does love the drama. I love the drama. <laughs> I have no clue. Do. Good morning, guys. I've got a surprise for you, Harriet. You, you're looking particularly miserable. She's right <laughs> morning. To a long future at Celine Health. Oh my God! Without spilling your orange juice. Ruined her phone in the process. Your foundation's not my colour. But also, Lola, that's not that new colour. I think you need a different foundation. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have loved this video. We've tried to do it a little bit differently, and I hope it's been enjoyable. I'm trying to get my team more involved, although I don't know that they actually thought they'd be reality stars before working um, at the company, but I think they're loving it and I'm hoping that you guys are too. So if you haven't already, please press the like button and the follow button wherever they are on the screen. And I love you guys. Thank you for following and watching. Bye.